Hong Kong's fight against an increasingly authoritarian state has found a very vocal supporter in the government of Taiwan. In an exclusive interview to DW, its foreign minister, Joseph Wu, has called pro-democracy protesters freedom fighters and promised moral support. Wu's words are in line with the stand that government of Taiwan has taken since anti-government protests broke out in Hong Kong last year. Here's more of what Wu had to say. Uh, we try to give support, moral support, uh, to those uh, freedom fighters in Hong Kong. And we continue to urge the Hong Kong government to adopt free election and to ensure freedom, especially freedom of speech and freedom of media, so that Hong Kong can stand as a symbol of freedom in East Asia. Uh, but as it's very unfortunate that the Chinese government will impose national security law on uh, Hong Kong. And after that, you know, we saw uh, the election scheduled uh, later this year has been postponed for one year. Right. Uh, the rights of the Hong Kong people has been uh, taken away by the Chinese government. Uh, the last bastion of freedom of press, the Hong Kong uh, Apple Daily, uh, has been under assault by the Chinese authority. Uh, there are uh, politicians, uh, especially on the democratic side, uh, that are being disqualified by the Chinese authority or by Hong Kong authority. And that is a, a gross violation of political rights in Hong Kong. So this whole situation in Hong Kong is really a tragedy. Let's get more from DW correspondent William Yang, who conducted that interview and joins me now from Taipei. William, uh, Taiwan is clearly concerned, but in reality, how much of a difference can it make when it comes to the situation in Hong Kong? So, in the interview that we conducted with the foreign minister, Joseph Wu, he clearly pointed out that Taiwan's biggest difference uh, from falling into the similar situation like Hong Kong is to rely on its sovereignty and also uh, its democratic system and the government that is always elected by the people in Taiwan. So, uh, in a way, that is very much aligned with uh, what the administration has been strengthening and uh, re-emphasizing over and over again over the last few years, which is that the democratic value is playing a very important role for Taiwan to continue to strengthen its independence from in any sort of interference or impact uh, politically from China. And uh, the Taiwanese voter, as we have seen over the last few years, have been also exercising their democratic rights uh, Right. at a historic high way. Uh, we have already seen over the last few elections that the turnout has been uh, surpassing the past. So that just also uh, shows that the Taiwanese uh, society is receiving the message that the Taiwanese foreign minister is hoping the international community will receive as well. William, there's more to talk about on that front, but Foreign Minister Wu also addressed China's alleged expansionism in the region and its challenge to the rules-based international order. Let's just listen in to what the Foreign Minister had to say. I think it's not only about China's expansion. Their expansion, their ambition to, you know, uh, occupy uh, territorial waters or territories in this region. I think they are also interested in changing the international rules of the game. Uh, they are trying to export the authoritarian international order while uh, the democracies are following the rule-based international order. I think it's going to be uh, a, a moment where the international freedom and democracy needs to be very concerned about. And as I said, you know, we are standing on the front line. We understand our own, our own responsibilities and we'll do everything we can, not only to protect ourselves, but also to protect freedom and democracy, democratic way of life for the international community. William uh, Yang, our correspondent, is still with us on the line. William, the foreign minister says uh, Taiwan is on the front lines against an expansionist China, but is it getting any help internationally in the trenches? 
So since 2019, we have actually seen the increased frequency of different countries sending their warships through the Taiwan Strait, and the frequency have also triggered a more heightened response from China. And at the same time, the U.S. Have, has been actually approving a lot more military sales to Taiwan over the last four years. And so these are all feeding into Taiwan's uh, growing preparedness and also at the same time the uh, capability of its uh, military in order to prepare for all kinds of scenarios uh, for the Chinese military invasion. And uh, during the interview, Ms. Minister Wu also pointed out the very important thing, which is that Taiwan is basically only hoping that uh, advanced countries like the U.S. is going to continue to help to approve these military cells. And it is not counting right. on the foreign powers to actually militarily intervene, because at the end of the day, they think that the responsibility rests with the Taiwanese military and the Taiwanese people. We'll leave it there for the time being. DW correspondent William Yang in Taipei.